So you want to program walking animations. Not a problem. The first thing you are going to need is a walking animation tree. To get that, right click, animation controller, name it, double click it, right click again, create state, and from new blend tree. Name it walk, double click it, and up here, click the plus and add two new floats. And call them X and Y. Then click your tree, and up here change it from 1D to 2D freeform directional. Then change your parameters to X and Y. Now, from here it depends on how detailed you want your movement to be. Some people only need walking, some people only need running. And some people like to have a transition from walking to running, depending on how far you're pushing the control stick. For now, let's just assume that you want walking. All right, now, for for the next 30 seconds, you are gonna be super lost and confused. But I want you to relax and promise me you won't freak out, okay? Because I promise in the next 60 seconds, it'll all make sense. But for now, just copy what I do and I'll explain it later. If you followed my tutorials in Blender, you should have eight separate walking animations in one animation walking in place. That's a total of nine animations. So up here, click the plus and add new motion field and do that nine times. And now you add your walking animations in the following order. Walking back back to the left, walking back, back right, left, walking in place, right, forward left, forward, and forward right. Under position X, type negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 1, negative 1, 0, 1. And under position Y, type negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. All right, you still with me? Good, don't worry, you'll be fine. I want you to press the play button, then click the red dot and start dragging it around. And you will notice that depending on where you drag the dot, controls which walking animation is triggered. Drag it forward and she starts walking forward. Drag it back and she walks back. And if you drag it anywhere in between, it'll try and mix the two closest animations together. Okay, so here's how this works. All we did was map out our animations. We created two variables called X and Y, and inside those values we put a number. And if you map it out, X goes this way, and Y goes this way. Nothing fancy, just exactly the way you would expect it on any normal graph. X and Y intersect at the middle, which is 0X and 0Y. If you go to the right, you'll be at 1X, and if you go to the left, you'll be at negative 1X. If you go up, you'll be at 1Y, and if you go down, you'll be at negative 1Y. So if you look at each of our walking animations, the X and Y coordinates match up where you would expect to see them on a control stick. Walking in place, or idle, is at 0, 0, because it represents when the stick is not being touched. Walking Walking to the right is at 1, 0, and walking to the left is at negative 1, 0, and walking down is at 0, negative 1, so on and so forth. That's literally all we did. And that's it. You're done. Once you've made the walking tree, you are ready to start programming it, which we will do in a later tutorial. Hope that helps. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Hope you have a fantastic day. Now see you around.